welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasper Willis and I'm a realtor in Kalamazoo, Michigan with Five Star Real Estate with the Harrington team. Today, I decided to give you guys a tour of the great Western Michigan University. I am a WMU alumna, so I thought it would be really great to show you guys where I graduated from and show you guys a big part of Kalamazoo. All right guys, follow me. <laughs> All right, and so over here is the Bronco Mall. So I'm not sure what it looks like right now because it's been a little bit since I walked inside of there. Um, but when I was in school, we had uh, the computer lab was in there and the some food, different food choices and financial aid and just tons and tons and tons of stuff. So. Let's go and see what they have in here now. So guys, I used to be on the wall, um, a picture on the wall upstairs inside of the Barnhart Center, which is where we're going into, is the Barnhart Center slash, that's my mommy back there. So it's a Barnhart Center slash, oh, it's dark, but it's a Barnhart Center slash um, Bronco Mall. It's just on different, different levels. So, upstairs i was in a picture and i didn't like the picture but if the picture is still on the wall i'll show you guys <laughs> but we're inside of bronco mall okay guys it's pretty deserted i'm not gonna talk to y'all because students are probably in here studying um because of the pandemic i'm sure that's why things are shut down, maybe. Or maybe they're not open on some days. But they have this place in here. The Burger Bros, which I've heard so many great things about. I have not tried it out, but I will. They have a Big B Coffee. And the subway, this subway's been here forever. Yeah, the subway was here when I was in school. Turn it back on. <laughs> we got restrooms over here. PNC Bank. That's been here forever, too. Through there is the computer lab. That's the computer lab. So there's a set of stairs this way. We're gonna come down this way so you guys can finish seeing the bottom layer of the level. The pulling tub board. <laughs> so Bronco Express is for financial aid. I've been here since they had this, but this was not here when I was in school. The Bronco Global Lounge. chill out area textbook alley which is a yeah definitely maybe that's a a bookstore and if you need graphic so this way um this was we got me to get back a bank id card and a store that way. We're going to swing back around this way. <laughs> you guys, we're going to see if, okay, we're checking to see if this picture is still up here. Let's see. Let's check and see if the picture is still here, guys. Oh, it is. This ugly picture. You guys, I hate this picture of me. Do you guys go? What's that? Over, yeah, over, ten, over 10 years ago. <laughs> so 14 years later and here I am still on that wall. So that's pretty exciting. They actually redid it. They redid that wall while I was here and it was kind of cool to see 
that happened. It's one more floor. So I'll take you guys up to the third floor. But yeah, they have redid that, of course, while we was here um, attending school still. And I just, for some reason, thought that that would have got done over again and it wouldn't be here anymore. But that's not the case. I'm still up there. <laughs> Even though I don't like the picture, but it's still up there, which is still kind of cool. We're on the third floor, and up here is just the ballrooms and offices. All right, guys, so we're out of the Barnhart Center. Across the street, right down there, we have the rec center. So you go down in there and get your workout on. And we're gonna make our way around campus we're gonna go by foot now we're on our feet you guys have to excuse my hair because it's definitely blowing in the wind and it's not in the best direction but anywho um right now we are walking towards my old um dorm hall actually because i used to stay in henry hall which is right next to the barn heart center um, I doubt I'll be able to get in here, but if I can, it'll be cool to give you guys, show you guys that. Let's see. Let's see. I used to go through those doors all the time. <laughs> so I doubt I could get in, but I am going to go take a picture over here on the side. We can see something else is getting built over here on campus. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go see what that is. Oh, so it look like some more housing. Look like some more housing is coming on campus. So here we go. New housing, Arcadia Flats, completed 2020. Oh, so that was completed already in 2020. Broncos are strong. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, um, it says completed, but it isn't quite completed, maybe because of the pandemic or whatever. But I'm interested to see how it's gonna look. We definitely have to come back and check it out. Come back and check it out. Over there. Over there is the Honors College. Nope, I did not go to that college. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever hear anybody talking about the clock, there it goes right there, the tower. Been over here plenty of times. Chemistry building right across from. Boom, right there, right there. We got the library. Funny thing about the Dalton Center is, <laughs> so when I went to school here, my sister and I really, really, really wanted to take a class together. But of course she wouldn't come take a class in my field, so I had to take a class in her field. And she was in elementary education. And one of the classes we ended up taking was a teaching music class. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> We were learning how to, you know, play the guitar in that class. We had to write lesson plans and stuff for that class. And when I tell you guys, I hated, hated that class. Hated that class. I think I ended up getting a C in that class. My sister got an A. <laughs> so right now we're gonna go by um, the steps. So when I was in school, this was where they used to have a whole bunch of the step shows and stuff like that. Um, it was really nice because it was it's elevated over here and you get to watch the show down below. So I'm gonna flip this and let you guys see what this area, there we go, right here. So we'll all be piled in all around this area and people and then all the sororities and fraternities will be down there performing. Not the step shows, but this is like when they were doing like their coming out shows, their stuff like that. When like a new line was being introduced onto campus. 
So that was really cool. I like this area. And this is um, over by Nas Hall. You guys peep that right there? Y'all see that? Oops, hold on, wait. Uh, right there, Willis. It says Willis, Willis. Yeah, I'm pretty famous, you know, and I'm pretty rich. And I didn't want you guys to know because I didn't want you guys only watch my YouTube because you guys wanted to be around to myself rich because, you know, I got my names on buildings. <sighs> but now the secret's out the back. Oh, while the secret's out the back, we're going to march right on over here towards Miller Auditorium. If you are a fan of watching different plays and shows, more than likely, you've probably been over here to Miller Auditorium on Western's campus. That's right here behind me and this right here normally is on um in the summer and the warmer months they probably haven't got to it or i'm not sure what's going to go on with it this year but it's our nice little fountain it's really really cute have that that way and then behind me that way is the Dalton center so alrighty, i think that's all we're gonna do we're not gonna go all the way over there Okay, guys, I'm going to zoom in. Right over there is the Syndicus Health Center. Um, I'm not going to walk all the way over there because I know I can't even get in. Um, but it looks like they have like a little tent outside, probably because of the whole COVID, everything going on. But I just want to show you guys um, in relation to where we were. We were coming from across campus over there from where the library, you see that building over there? And if you cross over here, you get to the health center. I'm sad everything is shut down because I can't go inside and show you guys where I used to work at um, on inside of uh, Cindy Q's. Downstairs was my work study job. It was my first work study job when I was on campus. I worked down inside of the sports medicine clinic and I was really hoping that I can get in over there, but I can tell how deserted it is and it's Sunday. Um, so I can't really get in and show you guys what it looks like in there. All right, guys. So that is all that I have for you today. Um, of course the campus is bigger and there's other buildings out here on the campus. But um, I guess you guys really get the gist of it. You guys get the gist of what everything looks like out here. Uh, too bad nothing's open right now that I can really get inside any of the, um, like any of the buildings to show you guys what the lecture halls or anything like that look like. That would've been cool to show you guys, but you know, maybe I'll do an updated video on the campus one of these days but for now that's what I have
So while we roll through Fraternity Village, I'm going to give you guys a couple fun facts about Western. So according to the Western Herald, um, the East Hall, I mean East Campus is on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, another interesting fact is that President Waldo's remains are still buried in the East Hall. His ashes sit behind a plaque on the side of the building overlooking Davis. Yeah, interesting. And then, um, a couple of famous graduates of Western include Tim Allen, Terry Crews, Luther Vandross, and Greg Jennings. So, hope you enjoyed those facts. Let me know what you think. If you guys like this video or you guys want to see other videos like this, let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know the next time that I put out a video. But until next time, guys, bye.